Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Holotide and today I want to talk about something that is extremely divisive, not within just the Halo community, but across all games. A lot of you are going to have your own opinions and I do think that it differs from person to person. I think it's a very nuanced conversation, but that's skill-based matchmaking or just that umbrella because you can have like lobby balancing. There's so many different things that go into what skill-based matchmaking is and how it can negatively and positively affect the game. People have been complaining about skill-based matchmaking for a long time, and I think it kind of came to a head on the 20th of November when Max Hoberman, who if you don't know, was a design lead for Halo 2 and Halo 3, so I think he kind of knows what he's talking about, but tweeted out the failure of modern skill-based matchmaking, in my honest opinion, is that it's designed to maximize these perfect match scenarios and minimize the others. When it's working, a majority of games become super tight, super stressful. That's not fun for most players. Where's the variability? Now, before we get farther into the video, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been showing a ton of support recently. We are so close to 15,000 subscribers. I know like 90% of you who watch the videos don't sub. So if you could just do that for me, I would greatly appreciate it. We could probably hit it by the end of the year. All right, back to the video. So I will say that I don't think that skill-based matchmaking is inherently a bad thing. I understand why developers think that it's good that they have all this data and you know i can't argue against numbers numbers don't lie but that doesn't mean that i think that it's not detrimental to the gaming environment yeah retention may be up but i think that you've created this gaming climate where it's so almost unfun i remember the first time i played call of duty 4 i got on i was at a friend's house i picked the dragon off sniper rifle and i think i got like two kills and i died like 25 times but i wasn't turned off to the game i was like man i love this i want to keep playing more i want to do better some people don't have that mindset and i understand there's also so many games out there now vying for your time that if you get upset or bored with one game, you just move on to another. I say that, but it still seems like people have a hard time quitting games. So over time, I think that we've seen, you know, skill-based matchmaking go to the hidden MMR that you have, the matchmaking ranking. So that instead of you matching people of equal rank in a rank playlist or of equal skill pretty much just in the rank playlist and having a more casual, varied experience in social... Everything is just ranked now. Everything is is skill-based match made. It seems like developers want you to have a 50-50 chance in winning every game. But really, they just want you to have a 50% win-loss, like, no matter what. Then you start to see things like lobby balancing, where, you know, if you're a really good player, you're the best player in the lobby, your three other teammates are going to be just dog water, and then the other team is going to have four competent players... So you're going to lose that game. Now, I know a lot of people say that it's like, oh, you just want to be like LeBron played against JV kids and stuff. And like, honestly, LeBron was dunking on people in the NBA. He was like, that comparison just doesn't really jive with me because if you are the best and you're in the best of the best league, you're still going to dominate. You know, like there's a reason why people talk about Jordan and stuff. So I've always thought that that argument is kind of dumb, especially when it comes to a video game. Now, I will say I do think that there should be some type of protection for, like, the bottom 10% of players. You know, like, people that just, you know, are never going to have that skill. For whatever reason, I do think that they should be protected. Now, that doesn't mean that the top 10% shouldn't be matching against the other top 25%. I think that that's silly. I don't think that the best of the best should constantly be fighting each other in a casual playlist over and over and over and over again because that's not fun. There's no, you know, it's just super stressful all the time. It's like game seven, overtime, 30 seconds left, tie game over and over and over and over again. And while that is fun, every once in a while... It loses its appeal when it's every single day. It just feels like we're being manipulated. I think that having really strict skill-based matchmaking reduces the casual experience. It can lead to longer queue times across the game. It almost promotes smurfing and, you know, like reverse boosting in lobbies and stuff. And even though a lot of developers say that they can detect that super fast, it's still like, like people are going to still try that. I've seen people streaming who are really good at the game trying to do really average just so they can get more wins because that's a more reliable way. I also think that it leads to a lack of progression 
So, like, why go into the ranked playlist to get a nameplate when it's the exact same as going into Team Slayer? Now, like I said, I don't mind, you know, if there's a ranked playlist and I have that expectation that I'm going to go in there and play other good players who are also looking to win, like, no matter what, then that expectation is, you know, like, then I know what I'm getting into. But if, like, I, I'm not a great player, you know, like, I'm not a top 5% by any means, but even I feel like that lobby balancing aspect of games, and it's frustrating... I don't care if I get beat. I don't care if I go 5-20 and 20 sometimes, you know, as long as it's, like, a varied experience. There are better people than me out there. I don't need to be protected. I don't need to have my ego, you know, not hurt because some kid is 15 years old and is on Adderall and he's, like, bouncing off the walls, just destroying everybody in the lobby because it's going to end and I will go on to the next game. I probably won't even play him again because the lobbies don't stay intact it's just disbanded after every game in halo i honestly think that you know it gets kind of boring if you're just doing completely amazing all the time and i think it gets boring if you're getting stomped all the time it's fun to have the spice of life but really this video is i want to know your opinions in the comments that's what i really want to i want to see what my audience thinks if even if you're not a part of my general audience i want to know what you think i want to get a lot of opinions because i see things on twitter and i feel like that's kind of an echo chamber so i would be interested to see how you all feel that's going to do it for the video ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make Make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!